and blessings to you on the worldwide. I'm Prez Blackman. You know who you are? Let's get into it. Here's Melvin. I've seen too many victories to let defeat have the last word. Yeah, I've seen too many victories to let defeat have the last word. I tell you that I've seen too many victories to let defeat have the last word. I tell you that I've seen too many victories to let defeat have the last word. Hear this when I wake up in the morning and I realize that, that I'm still here. That lets me know that God gave me favor. No matter what circumstances reveal, He brought me through my pain and sorrow, reassured me I got a hope for tomorrow. Defeat can't compete with mercy and grace. Oh no, if I just keep faith, win this race. I think of his goodness and all he's done for me. Dare not complain. Cause he brought me over the rugged hill. And all of my heartaches and pain. Well, I understand. Try has come to make me strong. Gotta stay in the race, yo. I gotta keep pressing on. This is my testimony to you. I got victory, even though I don't look like what I've been through. Ooh, I've seen too many victories. I just can't let defeat have the last word. Oh, I've, I've seen, seen too many victories. I can't let defeat have the last word. Listen, y'all, when I wake up in the morning, victory. I get out of my bed, y'all. station that gives you great gospel music blessings to you on this wonderful lord's day yeah thank you for joining another 168 hours in our future you've met us again on the last friday here in the fifth month yeah the groove that makes you want to move is right here at rmc with me presby here's the number one artist in the world soon to be with us on june the 14th you'll want to be there here's lee williams and the spiritual qc's for y-o-u Deaf notice to air. 
If I were you, that's the next thing I would do. Just to show you I'm sitting here tonight. One day he's got a one for you. But you know what? You can't run. Can't hide. Is a lawyer, one that never lost a case. If I were you, I'd get lawyer Jesus. I wouldn't wait, I'd make haste. This is something you can't get around, no matter what you do. Just as sure as you can hear my voice tonight. One day he's got a word for you, but you know what? You can't run, can't, can't hide. hide. No need, there's no need, no need to try. try. Don't know, you don't know me. Uh -huh. He's coming. You, you just can't. can't One can't more ride. thing, you see. He'll take the babies from his mother's breast. He'll take the rich man. Everybody else Take mothers, daughters Father and son Sometime he won't stop Till he got that last one But you can't run You can't hide No need No need to try You don't know when Or how You can't Y'all don't mind Help me tell him When you come you home, can't, hide. can't run. You can't, run. You can't, hide. can't hide. Well, my mind, can't my mind go back to a story in the Bible day. One day, God called a man by the name of Jonah. Said, Now, Jonah, I want you to go down in a place called Nineveh. And tell my people if they don't repent, I'll destroy that city. But you know that story. Jonah didn't want to go. So Jonah decided that he was going down to a place called Joppa. Then he went on down to the shipyard. He went on down to the ticket office and got him a ticket. And he was on his way to a place called Tosh. Then he went on down on the bottom deck. Got over in the corner and went fast asleep. But what he didn't know when he laid down, God was looking right at him. God was looking at him. But God didn't bother him. All God did was he called a wind. And he told the wind, I want you to blow. And he told the thunder, I want you to roll. And he told the lightning, I want you to flash. And he told the tide, stand up real high. Cause I've got a child that's trying to run and think he can hide. And about that time, the captain came around. Started to roll, lightning started to flash, tide stood up high, and the wind began to blow. Captain got confused, told all his crew members, out of all the time we made this journey, we ain't never, ain't never had trouble before. And then he told all the crew members, come on the top deck, and then he asked them, tell me. Tell me who is your God? Who is your God? Whoever your God is, I want 
you to call him And about that time Another man came And said wait a minute Captain There's one more man And he's downstairs He's over in the corner And he's fast asleep Captain said let me go down I'll see about him Captain walked over And shook old man Jonah And Jonah stood up said call him and Jonah told him I ain't gotta call him I ain't gotta call him he already know you already know that I'm trying to run and I'm trying to hide he said well now captain if you want peace on your ship you gotta take me on top and throw me overboard so they took Jonah Tell me, God had a fish prepared for him, swallowed him down in the bottom of his belly, took him around and took him down in the bottom of the sea. But I'm so glad tonight, I'm so glad tonight, I'm so glad tonight. The number one artist in the world. You'll want to be there on June the 14th. No your fans and butts about it. Lee Williams and the spiritual QCs of Tupelo, Mississippi. Melvin Williams of the William Brothers. It's going to be nice. It's called Cooling Waters 2. Whatever you do, you'll want to join us. Cooling Waters 2. Yeah, it's going to be nice. The doors open at 4. The concert starts at 5. And you dare not want to miss it. No doubt about it. Cooling Waters 2. It's going to be the concert you dare not want to miss. Honoring my brother, Troy Johnson. Yeah, Troy left us uh, a month ago, and we missed Troy, no doubt about it. Tickets available at Mount Tabor Baptist Church, 67th and Western. Also at Miss Naomi Webb's uh, Windsor Hill Christian Book Center, 4438 West Lawson. And, of course, call the queen, my sister, Miss Betty Edwards, at 323-602-4107. 323-602-4107. It's going to be nice. Prayers Graham presents Cooling Waters to Church and Quartet. The Mighty Male Chorus of Mount Tabor, D.B. Milton and Company. The MC is me, Prayers B. I'm back this year. And it should be a lot nice cash prizes. It's going to be wonderful. Cooling Waters 2 with Lee Williams and the Spiritual QC is called the Queen. Tickets available right now for $20. VIP stays the same at $50, and it's going to be nice. Evangelist Evelyn Brown, blessings to you on this day. Betty down in Tennessee, Georgia and Arkansas. Stephanie on your way to Los Angeles. That's a good place to be is Soul Angeles. Yeah, Pauline and I, we're here right here at RMC Studios here on Pico Boulevard, home of Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. As we get ready to get into gospel music right now, two of my favorite singers, no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Yeah, super nice. Back in my younger days, I had the pleasure of doing some project with Art Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah, Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel. Yeah, and of course, yeah, the eighth wonder of the world who just had a birthday just a week ago. Yeah, he owns a station right here in Los Angeles on La Brea Boulevard. The eighth wonder of the world, Steve Land, Judkins Morris. We know him as Stevie Wonder. Got to get into this groove to make you want to move. Here's Stevie Wonder and Paul Simon. They lean in in this thing here. Hey, like a rock on the station that cares. When I was a little boy, when I was just a boy, and the devil called my name, when I, was just a boy, I said, oh, who do, oh, who do you think you're fooling? When I was just a boy, I'm a consecrated boy, when I was just a boy, singer in the Sunday choir. Mama loves me, she loves me, she get down on her knees and whoa, whoa she loves me. She rocks me like the rock of ages and love me. She love me, love me, love me. When I was grown to be a man, the devil would call my name. I said, Who do? Who do you think you're fooling? I'm a consummated man. I just had to let a few run deep. Love me, love me, love me. 
if I was a president, and the Congress called my name, yeah, I say, who do, who do you think you're fooling? Got the presidential seal. Super nice music, yeah. Prayers ground, where you're much better with me on than off, yeah. Steve Land, Judkins Morris, along with Paul Simon, and of course, who else? The late, great, legendary Ira Tucker, yeah. The Dixie Hummingbirds, yeah. Love me like a rock on this wonderful station called RMC and Prayers ground with you and me. Let's get into the groove that makes you want to move New York like this for Y-O-U. There is power in the name. Every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power.
station that gives you great music. Betty, you're probably right. The only thing about it, Betty, what's a Eudorian? On the station, REMC with me, Prez B. Blessings to you. As we get ready for June the 14th, Cooling Waters 2, that's Minister Dietrich Haddon from the Endeavor, yeah, Preachers of L.A., yeah, super nice, uh, yeah, Break Every Chain along with Hezekiah, yeah, super nice. Preachers of L.A., yeah, really nice. But Cooling Waters 2 is coming June the 14th, no doubt about it. And you'll want to be there. You'll want to be there. It's going to be super nice. It's going to be super nice on June the 14th, I promise you. It is one concert you dare not want to miss. June the 14th. It's going to be the blessing of blessings. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Cooling Waters 2. Good Lord, the is coming. I'm back as the MC, and I want you there, no doubt about it on the station that cares. As we get back into gospel music, here's a surefire tune that's gonna make you wanna crew and be at morning, night, and noon. Yeah, we were raised up on a song like this back in the day, super nice, uh, wherever that place is. It's called Eudora, Arkansas, no doubt about it. I enjoyed this tune here. Here's the Reverend Dr. F.D. Sampson, super nice. For all of my Eudorians, yeah, for Y-O-U.
F.D. Sampson. Super nice. Yeah. Super nice. Nice music. On well, the station that gives you great gospel music, RMC Studios, and all these communications brought to you by Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. As we get ready for Cooling Waters 2, it's going to be the concert you dare not want to miss. Yeah, Cooling Waters 2. Pauline and I, we're here today, and it's going to be nice. Looking for a guest to come in. And I've got so many exciting things to tell you that's going on in Los Angeles. Coming up tonight is the end of the revival with none other than that young, great, fiery preacher. Uh, yeah, from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, the, the Grace Baptist Church. That is Dr. Clinton McFarland. And then we get ready for Cooling Waters too, Church and Quartet. Yeah, and then after that, we come up with Prayers Blackman's Day, the 40th anniversary for Prayers Blackman's Day. And then after that, you'll want to be in Los Angeles. You will want to be in Los <laughs> Angeles. The pastor's pastor, the preacher's preacher, the number one preacher in America, the pastor of the Salem Baptist Church or Salem Bible Church of Atlanta, Georgia, Pastor Jasper Williams, Jr. August 31st, September the 1st, September the 2nd. It's going to be a fiery, fiery Holy Ghost filled time as we close out August and end and go into September. It's going to be real nice. I want you to know it's going to be a blessing. No ifs, ands, and buts about it as we get into gospel music on this station called RMC Verner. For YOU, here is Bishop Joe Simon. Let us 
Super nice, super nice. Bishop Joe Simon. Yeah, super nice music on the station. It gives you great gospel music. Our guest has arrived, and that's a good thing, and we're going to be telling you all about our guest in just a minute. So you stay tuned. i got much more music for you, yeah, as we get ready for Cooling Waters 2. It's going to be the concert you dare not want to miss. Yeah, super nice. Cooling Waters 2. It's going to be super nice, and we've got great, great music for you. It's going to be nice. I'm back this year. The good Lord delay is coming as the MC. Melvin Williams, yeah, the William Brothers, and of course, uh, Lee Williams, Spiritual QCs. Mighty Mail Chorus of D.B. Milton and Company. As we give you the groove that makes you want to move, let's get into it like this as we slide into this tune to make you want to croon. Super nice. Here's Reverend Patrick Hollis with Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs. He jumps into this thing my whole life has changed since I found Jesus my whole life has changed since I found Jesus my whole life has changed, has changed. you know
super nice. Reverend Patrick Hollis, me Williams and the Spiritual QCs. Sunday, June the 14th. Yeah, you want to be there. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. Yeah, our guest is here today, and I've got some exciting news. I thought I'd go ahead and give you a groove from all of my East Coast folks that uh, uh, didn't get a chance to uh, witness the most historical moment in gospel here on the West Coast that we enjoyed, and um, it was nice. Every artist in my last 40-plus years has always given a piece of their testimony when it comes down to their time to die. And such is the case as a young man that left us a couple of Fridays ago. We said farewell to him, and of course, a lot of you did not know that he had gospel music. I speak of none other than Mr. Riley B. King, better known as B.B. King. And of course, we wanted to give you some of the B.B. King gospel other than Lucille, and of course, the thrill is gone. Yeah, but the thrill is still here at RMC with me, Prez B., so you'll want to enjoy that. I've got the great pastor of the Key of David Ministries is here today. That is none other than Bishop Dr. Timothy Hoax is here, and of course, it's going to be nice. Hey, Betty, he's the homeboy from Arkansas with us, Betty. So while you're watching Tennessee, you, you might know him, Betty. No offense and buts about it. He's coming up after we give you some B.B. King. Here's B.B. King, the late great one, on the station that gives you great gospel music. Sally Womack for Y.O.U. and family. Desiree, Tony, Nay. Yeah, super nice. The late Riley B. King. It's a true foundation. I'm lifting up a blood Super nice, the late great Riley B. King. Let me just slide this one in here for you on you on this uh, wonderful Lord's Day as Pastor Timothy Oaks gets ready and Miss Marilyn, Lady M. Lady M is here today and it's super nice. We're awaiting the arrival of the first family uh, as she makes her way into the studio. Super nice, I thought I'd do this for you here. Yeah. In the background, the late Riley B. King. Huh? Yeah. Super nice, super nice. There must be a better world somewhere. Sometimes I wonder Just what am I fighting for? I win some battles 
But I always lose the war I keep right on stumbling And there's no man's land out here But I know clips my wings Just because he gets a kick Out of doing those kind of things I keep on falling in space Or just hanging in midair But I know Somewhere Every woman I want Only wants herself Everybody I love Seems to love somebody else Super nice as we lean into the late great Riley B. King Better known as B.B. Super nice. We will miss him. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Prez Graham, worldwide, as we get ready for our first family here of uh, Key of David is here. And I uh, have the um, first family, and I have uh, the pastor's aide. I have the bodyguard that's here, and I got everybody here. Miss Marilyn Johnson, how are you? Yeah, I can't. Oh, I'm sorry. Marilyn, that's my fault. That's my fault. Uh, I'm great. I'm great. Wonderful, wonderful. And... Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Timothy Hoax is here, a.k.a. the First Lady. Mrs. Hoax, how you doing? I'm doing well. Really? I like the way you said that. I'm doing well. <laughs> Trying to take over the radio voice. You hear what you said? <laughs> <laughs> Pastor, how you doing, Pastor? Doing wonderful, and yeah. good afternoon to everyone. Yeah, this is wonderful. Say hello to all the Arkansas folks that's watching you right now in Tennessee and, and down in Little Rock, of course. I want to say hello to everybody uh, in the South. Hey, man, I'm a Southern boy, and especially to all my Arkansans. <laughs> <laughs> bodyguard, say hello. Say hello over there, bodyguard. Hello, everybody. It's <laughs> a to be here. So now that we are here today and the first family is here, Pastor, on this last day, uh, the last Friday, I should say, in the uh, fifth month, uh, Pastor, uh, for the next 20 minutes, uh, we want you just to give us what God has given you, and uh, we won't interrupt you at all. And uh, the court and the ball is in your court, and it is all you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present the very fine pastor of the Key of David. Please welcome at this time around the world, Pastor Timothy Hoax. Good afternoon to everyone that's listening on this Lord's Day, man. What a blessing it is to be here to be able to speak to you across the country, amen, all the way from the West Coast to the East Coast, down South, amen, Midwest. What a blessing it is. And I just thank God for this opportunity. I thank God for Mr. Perez presenting this platform that we might be able to share the most precious cargo known to man, and that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I thank the Lord for uh, the word of God because it is the power of God unto salvation. And I just want to share with you this afternoon to all you that are listening today. And before I get into my brief message, I just want to say, take heart, be encouraged today. God is on your side. And as I, I prepared for this message and for this talk, um, the Lord took me to the book of John, the fifth chapter. And I just want to share two verses of scripture from John chapter five. If you have your Bibles near or your cell phone or your tablet, whatever you carry the word of God in. And I just want to share with you this afternoon. Uh, two verses of scripture from John chapter 5 starting with verse number 5 and it says a certain man was there which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years verse 6 when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been a, not a long time in that case he said unto them will thou be made whole what I want to call your attention to this afternoon I want to call your attention to this man who had been in a condition he, he had been 
paralyzed, if you will, for 38 years. And whether you paralyze or working on a job or, or, or teaching or whatever you may do, 38 years is a long time to do anything. Mm. But this man was in a, a crippled, a paralyzed condition. And in this man, I see a lot of people in our own world today. This man was down mentally. He was down spiritually. He was down on the outside. He was down on the inside. He didn't want to, he didn't, he wanted to give up. He didn't want to believe anymore. He didn't want to hang in. He wanted to throw in the towel because he had been in this situation for such a long time. And, 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 and when you're facing situations by yourself, sometimes it's easy to say, what's the use? Why, why should I try? You know, every time I, I, I try to get my healing, somebody steps into the pool before me. I just want to give up. And, and I just want to say to you today, if you are in a crisis situation in your life, if you are in a dark place in your life, if you become despondent and feel like nobody cares and, and the world has turned its back on you and you've been abandoned by family or friend, I have a good word for you today. And the word is Jesus sees you. Mm -hmm. Jesus saw this man. Out of all the men that were sitting here, there were porches all around him. And the Bible said that there were people there that were lame and halt and impotent folks who had all type of conditions that were going on. And in the midst of all these people laying there on these porches, the Bible said that Jesus saw a certain man. And what that, why that is important to you today, out of all the millions or billions of people in the world today, I came to this radio station to announce to everyone listening today that Jesus sees you and he understands your condition. He sees you in your distress. He sees you in your pain. He sees you in your brokenness. Some of you may be jobless today. Some of you, your marriage may have ended or you might be raising a prodigal son or a prodigal daughter and you don't know what to do with him. But I came to give you the good news that he sees you. He sees you and you are not in this by yourself. You are not alone. God has not abandoned you. He has not turned his back on you. You're going through a situation in life right now, but I, I guarantee you that I want to submit to you today, he that stick is closest than a brother sees you. He sees you. He sees you not, without any hope today. He sees you saying, you know what? Nobody's concerned about me. And I just want to say to you today, whatever you do, don't quit. Don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. God is sending help on the way. Help is on the way today. And the Lord is not going to leave you to yourself. And I, I just want to say to you, you, you may be drug addicted today. You may be uh, 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 addicted by drugs or alcohol or pornography or whatever you see today. Don't try to fix yourself up. Come to Jesus just as you are, weary, wounded, addicted today, and let him fix you up. He takes great pleasure in rolling up his sleeves, if you will, and restoring you again. He wants to save you. He wants to heal you. He wants to comfort you today. So come to him just as you are. And I just want you to know today that he, his eyes are upon you. The Bible says, as the mountains are around Jerusalem, the Lord is all around his people. And as I think about this text and I think about the Apostle Paul in the book of Acts, the 26th chapter, Paul says in the 26th chapter, I believe around the 22nd verse there, he said, having received help from the God, I am able to continue on today. What are you trying to tell me, Pastor? I'm trying to tell you that you cannot go on in your own might. You don't have to go on in your own strength. It's not how many finances you have. It's not how educated you are. It's not how much property you own today. He said, having received help from God. And I came to tell you today, if you don't have any help, if everybody has turned their back on you, if the world has dealt you a bad hand today, your help comes from the Lord. Amen. David yes. said it yes. best. He said, I will lift mine eyes yes. unto the yes. hill from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. And I want to assure you today that your help is coming from the Lord and that mm -hmm. God's eyes are upon you today. And he's watching every movement. He's watching every tear you cry. He's watching every pain you go through. Yes. He's watching every situation you're dealing with today. And you have to understand that he will not leave you alone. He will not leave you by yourself. For the Bible tells us in Isaiah, the 41st chapter, God said, do not be dismayed. Fear not. He said, yea, I'll help you. Yea, I'll strengthen you. Yea, I'll work with you today. So I want you to understand that God sees you in your condition and God sees you suffering and he sees you that are holding on. Those that are praying and that are laboring in prayer and calling on the name of the Lord. If I want to encourage you this afternoon, hold on to the word of God because God said his word would not return to him void, but it accomplished what he sent it to do. Yes. I'm just so happy and I'm just so elated to know that we don't have to go through this life by ourselves. We don't have to feel like that, that we're, we have to make it on our own strength, our own power. But we have a God who said, it's not by might and not by power, right. but it's by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts today. And if your deliverance is ever going to come, if your healing is ever going to come, it's going to come by the power of God today. So I want you to say as yourself, lay your hands on yourself and say, he sees me today. Oh yeah, he sees you today. He sees you. Jesus, 
sees you today. Tell, see me, Jesus. See me in my pain. See me crying. See me broken. See me despondent today. When you call on the name of the Lord, the Bible ensures that, that he that calls on the name of the Lord, he won't make you ashamed. And I know today you may feel like that everybody's laughing at you and life is sniggling under his breath at you. But I came to tell you today, if you hope in the Lord, if you believe in the word of God today, God said, I will not make you ashamed. I will bring you out. I will help yes. you. I will strengthen you. I will make a way out of no way. I will open a door today. I will turn your situations around today. And the reason that God can see that, because he sees you today. Yes. yes. Yeah, he sees you. He sees you, no matter what the enemy says, no matter what life says, whatever you do, don't listen to your eyes. Sometimes your eyes lie to you. See, please don't be moved by what you see. You got to be moved by what you believe. And the word said that you're more than a conqueror through him that loved you. The word said that you are a victor. You are not a victim today. So when that devil starts talking to your mind and trying to remind you about what you're going through, remind him of what the word said, like Jesus did in Matthew chapter four, when the enemy challenged him and he replied to him in Matthew four, four, Man should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded yes. out of the mouth yeah. of God. And I would encourage you today to find scripture that supports your situation yes. today. Because we have to understand, tears don't move God. Pain does so much move God, but faith moves God. Yes. So I want you to lay hands on yourself today and say, fear, fear not. Fear not. Faith only faith today. Not. Jesus said, it, all things are possible to him that believe. If thou only canst believe, all things are possible that him to, to him that believe today. So I just want to encourage you today and I just want to inspire yes. you today to whatever you do to grab a hold to faith today to embrace yes. faith today yes. to embrace the word of God today to embrace the love of God today because I'm telling you today if you're ever going to be cured if you're ever going to be set free if you're ever going to be saved today yes. it's going to be because of your intimacy and your fellowship that you have with the Lord Jesus Christ today and I'm speaking across the nation today and I want to say to you today if you do not know Jesus and the pardon of your sin if you do not have a personal, intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, it would be my pleasure in these next few seconds to introduce you to the Lord of glory. I want to tell you that he died for you. I want to tell you not only did he die for you, but on the third day, he got up for you. And because he got up, you can get up. I don't care if you got two strikes against your life. I don't care if you got a bad report from the doctor today. I don't care if your child is in jail. Because he got up, you can get up today. Somebody say, I, I can get up today. Yes, you can. You can get up today. You can get up today no matter what situation you in. Jesus told this man in the fifth chapter today, he told him, rise, take up your bed and walk. And I like that first word. It said rise. Everybody shout rise. rise. Whenever God delivers you, whenever God gives you the grace to get out of a situation, you got to do it in a hurry. He told him, get up from there. Is what he was telling him. Rise, get up. Don't drag. Don't, don't, don't drag your feet in this situation. You got to get up from there. That's why he told him, rise. Somebody say rise. rise. And the next thing he told him, he said, take up your bed. In other words, stop laying there and your pity party because you got to understand one thing in life you're either going to be pitiful or powerful but you can't be both so God told this man you can't be pitiful no more you can't lay there waiting for somebody to put you into the water I want you to be powerful I didn't die that you could be pitiful I died that you can be powerful so take that bed up stop murmuring about who didn't help you stop murmuring about who didn't give you the job stop murmuring about you don't have a car you don't have a, have a way to church I want you to rise today I want you to get up off of yourself I want you to brush off the past I want you to brush off the pain of the hurt. I want you to brush off you had a bare childhood because God sent me here today to tell you that his eyes are on you today. Yes. And he wants you to get out of that bed, that bed of affliction, that bed of addiction, that bed of bondage. The word is rise. Get up now. Make haste. The Lord is calling you. He's calling you up higher. He's calling you up out of that pit. David said, I was in a horrible pit and God brought me out. He said, it is him that is keeping you alive. I want to tell you today that you would have never made it to this point had not God been keeping you alive. You would have never made it when your husband walked off and left you with five kids unless God was keeping you today. You never would have made it after being off work for two years and no source of income coming in because God was on your side. And I came to tell you today that his eyes are upon you and his eyes are going to be up on you for the rest of the year. So all I want you to do is to look up today and know that your help comes from the Lord today. Oh, what a great blessing this is that we can get up off of ourselves, that we can rise, yes. take of our bed. And then the next thing that he told him to do, he said, walk. He told the man to walk. What he was telling you, I want you to burn the bridge. I don't ever want to see you in this condition again. And I came to tell you today, if you would stand up in the power of his might, if you would stand up in the power of his word, yes. God can deliver you and you would never have to go back to what you were doing 
doing in the past because God's love and God's healing power and God's grace and mercy is surrounding you today. So I want to encourage you. Yes. And I just want to say to you earnestly today that if you are despondent, if you are like this man, you've been in the same place, in the same position, yes. with the same condition for year after year today. The word of the Lord came to you today to say, rise. rise. It's time to get up. Mm -hmm. God's eyes is on you. You may not think he sees you, but he sees you today. Yes. And just before I close, I just want to ask everyone out there who's listening today, if you're not saved, if you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sin, if you don't know him as Lord of your life, as God of your life, I want you today to lay your hands on yourself and repeat this after me. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus forgive, me forgive me for every sin, for every trespass, for every idle word, for every idle, word, for every idle, word, for every idle thought. For every idle thought. Come, into my life. Come into my life. I know you died on the cross for me. I know you died on the cross for me. And not only did you die on the cross for me, not only did you die but you got up on the third day you got up and, you declared and you declared that all power, that all power over heaven and earth, over heaven and was, in your hands. was in your hands. And you said in the book of Romans, you said in the book of Romans if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, confess with thy mouth and, believe in thine heart, and believe in thine heart that God, that God has raised Jesus from the dead, Jesus from the dead thou, shall thou shall be saved. Brothers and sisters, when you see shell in the Bible, that is God's guarantee. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer, and if you believed in your heart yes. that Jesus is Lord, you have became a part of the family of God. It's just that easy, and it's just that simple. Yes. So I pray, God, today that someone has made a decision for God. And whatever you do, don't wait too late to make a decision. It's very alarming to me as I close yes. that people will plan take a year to plan weddings, and they'll take a year to plan their Julie, college education, good. and they'll take a year to plan trips and vacations, but you won't take one moment to plan your eternity. Wow. See, we have to understand that all of us, we have eternity on the inside of us. It's just a matter of where you're going to live forever. That's Everybody's right. going to live forever, but you've got to make a choice. Jesus said in St. John 14, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you, that where I am ye may be also. What Jesus is saying to you today, that I've saved you a place at the table in heaven where we can sit in fellowship, but I need you to RSVP. All right. I need you to let me know that you're coming. And today right. you have an opportunity, if you never have another day, to say, Jesus, save me a space, I'm coming. All right. So I, I say to you today, God bless you. I love you. The love of God is surrounding you, and whatever you're going through, I assure you, Jesus sees you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah, Pastor of Key of David. Wow, man. What a word, America. What a word. What a word. What a word. First Lady, how yes. do you feel about that? Well, I, I, I just agree with it. I love it. When he preaches, he just gets me all excited. <laughs> I'm just trying to maintain myself. Yeah, because we have to walk in our authority. We have to walk in that. We can't have the pity parties. We can't let the depression overtake us. We can't let it on the outside because we got to know what we know. Really? And we know Jesus came just for us. When we come back, we're going to get much more of the Key of David family. I'm Brad Blackman. All these communications brought to you by Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. I'm fired up over that message right there. Yes. That just motivated me right there. With seven locations to serve while you, Watts Angeles, Manchester and Maine, Pico and La Brea, Lake and Orange Grove in Pasadena, 730 Broadway in Long Beach with the Seabird Jazz Lounge, 1514 North Gallery in Hollywood, the original location since 1975, Roscoe's LAX, and now Roscoe's Disneyland. And when you're there, don't forget about Pitbull. That's right, Pitbull in the your drinks. Attitude in the can. The best thing in the land, you know, you want to have a can in your hand, then you'll understand why it's in demand. It's Pitbull Energy Drink. No aftertaste. And the amazing thing about it, we have something for all the diabetics. Diabetics, we didn't leave you out at Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. Now with seven locations to serve while you watch Angeles. All the stores open about 8 a.m. for breakfast. Most stores close by midnight, except for the Hollywood store, the Pico store, and the Long Beach store. Super nice Roscoe's for good wholesome food. Served in a pleasant atmosphere, it's Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles. Mm -hmm.
Perez Graham presents Cooling Waters 2 Church and Quartet with special guests Lee Williams and the spiritual QCs of Tupelo, Mississippi, Melvin Williams of the Williams Brothers, cash prizes from Smithville, Mississippi. On Sunday, June the 14th, 2015, the doors open at 4, the concert starts at 5 at the Carson Community Center, 801 East Carson. Call the Queen at 323-602-4107. 323-602-4107. Tickets available at Mount Tabor Baptist Church, 67th and Western, 753 3189 Windsor Hill Christian Bookstore, Miss Naomi Webb, 4438 West Slauson, 290 3079. Whatever you do, join us on Sunday, June the 14th with Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs and Melvin Williams of the William Brothers, Cooling Waters 2. You'll also hear the Mighty Male Chorus of Mount Tabor and D.B. Milton and Company. Whatever you do, join us on Sunday, June the 14th, 2015 for Cooling Waters 2 with Lee Williams. The MC is me, Prez B. It's a Prez Graham presentation. Super nice. Yeah, yeah, we want you there. We want you there, no doubt about it. Uh, got the first family here of Key of David, and I'm trying to find out uh, when is the taco night coming up? That's what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> when is the taco? Is this weekend taco night? Uh, taco, uh, the taco party is this Sunday. Uh, this coming Sunday is the fifth Sunday, which is our youth day. Mm -hmm. And following the youth day, we're going to have a taco party at our house. Uh, people are, 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 are we're, we're asking the, the people to come, and the young people are going to come over and have a party. And we're going to uh, play games and uh, swim a little bit if the Lord uh, give us great weather, and just have a good time in the Lord oh, fellowship. Yeah. Now, this is just for young folks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known. Yes. <laughs> I should have known uh, uh, that I would get a negative reception from the uh, from Lady M uh, here who has not brought any enchiladas oh. for us, Paulina, at all. And she, we've I'm been sorry, promised. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, so, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so sorry. When is the uh, first family's anniversary coming up? That will be July the 24th, that Friday night at oh, 7, okay. at 7 o'clock p.m. And on that Sunday the 26th, starting at 4 p.m. Really? Yes. So then their, their anniversary is a week before ours. Ours is the first Sunday in August. Yes. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. So can we get the first family to be part of Prayers Blackman's Day, the 40th anniversary? Of course. You sure? Of that course. choir, man, that choir. I want that choir for sure. Yes, yeah, sir. That choir is off the hook. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. But I, I want to get back to uh, the taco night. Uh, That's for the young people. Was there nothing for old folks? No. <laughs> Miss First Lady, I, I, you should say no. something. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The First Family of Key of David is here on Prayers Graham Worldwide here. Yes. Pastor and Mrs. Timothy Hoax and, of course, uh, I'm elated as we get ready tonight for the closeout of the revival over at uh, Pastor C. Lamar Simmons Church, which is going to be a nice Pastor Clinton McFarland from Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Pastor of the Grace Baptist Church, and your face need to be in the place, Miss Dorothy Johnson Lacey, uh, along with Evangelist Betty King and so many other wonderful uh, women of God from Grace uh, Temple will be giving leadership to the praise and worship uh, at 7, and of course, uh, Pastor... Um, uh, Lamar Simmons wants you there tonight. No ifs, ands, buts about it. As we get ready for mm -hmm. Prayers Blackman's Day, uh, the, mm -hmm. 20th, the 40th anniversary is coming up. It doesn't seem like it uh, at Gospel Temple Baptist Church. And then after Prayers Blackman's Day, circle your calendars. The preacher's preachers, the preacher's pastor, the pastor, the number one preacher in America, they say. The preacher that everybody wants to preach like somewhere around the world from Atlanta, Georgia. The pastor of the Salem Bible Church will be back again with us this year should the good Lord delay his coming. Pastor Jasper Williams, Jr. Oh, wow. And you will want to be with us, no if, ands, and buts about it, August 31st, September the 1st, September the 2nd. It's going to be a nice Mount Tabor Baptist Church, 67th and Western, as Prayers Graham presents the Summer Revival of Revival with Pastor Jasper Williams, Jr., pastor of the Salem Bible Church of Atlanta, Georgia. 7 30 p.m. nightly. We will have him up as we do every year, and it's been such a blessing. The la last year was just unbelievable. People literally were just parked out on Western Avenue blocking traffic to see Pastor Jasper Williams, Jr. Such great sermons as the prophet at the king's table. I fell in love with the prostitute. Uh, Playboy Go Home, uh, the one that he did on Pastor Dr. 
Clarence LaVon Franklin, better known as C.L. Franklin. Yeah, super nice, good soldier. We took you there, my late partner Tony Denard and I, where people were in line at 4 a.m. on that wonderful Lord's Day, waiting just for the service to start. Service didn't start until 10 o'clock, but they got up at 4 a.m. and went there and waited in their car, on top of the roof of the car. Some slept on hoods, under the tires, whatever they had to do to see. Good soldier. So we'll, we'll have it all for you on prayers, Graham, uh, worldwide. And, of course, we're looking forward to Pastor Jasper Williams, Jr., returning back to Los Angeles August 31st uh, after Prayers Black Men's Day and, of course, after, after Pastor Hoax and Sister Hoax's uh, anniversary. Can we get some tacos? No. Pastor? You want some tacos? Absolutely. We can give you some tacos. We'll yeah, bring yeah. you some. Part oh, no, not you. <laughs> exactly. I got to wait on your tacos. No, oh, no. That won't happen. No. We've waited. Pauline and I, we've waited for almost two weeks now. So, <laughs> look how you look. <laughs> the first lady. Oh, my God. So, listen. With a word like that, what does it require for a preacher, for you to give an inspiring word like that? I mean... Well, wow. I, I think any person who presents the gospel, he has to have passion about what he's talking about. I mean, it, it's one thing to preach from the word, and it's another thing to preach the word. And I think what causes any minister to minister uh, with power and to minister God's word with, with such passion is because he feels the need of God's people. And I think that's where the origin of my preaching comes from, is that people are broken. There are so mm. many people hurting. There are so many people that are addicted. There are so many people who feel like throwing in the towel. They feel like there's no hope in this life. And I think that any minister who's ministering nowadays is not ministering with a sense of urgency, then he doesn't understand what's happening around him. Jesus was so conscious of what was happening around him. And, and you know, it was even evident in, in John chapter 5, when all those people were laying there, he saw a certain man, the Bible said, a certain man. That means it was a particular man that he had his eye on. Out of all those people, he saw a certain man. So I think that if we're going to minister the word of God, the way God would have us to minister, we have to feel the needs of the yes. people. You can't, you can't learn this from a book. You can't get it from seminary. You either have it or you don't have mm. it. You have to have a burden for God's people. You have to have a burden to see people set free and healed and saved. It has to, it has to, it has to originate from the passion that you have for people. Mm. I, uh, as my son sings in the background, I was motivated that, uh, that you were so kind to us at your church a couple of Sundays ago, and I, I had to have you and then uh, a lot of our Arkansas folks that, that saw you the last time you were here, I had to have you back uh, because there are a lot of people uh, in Dumas and Dermot, Crossett, Wilmot, uh, El Dorado, you understand? Yeah. Prez, who is that? Prez, where are you from? Never saw him in Arkansas. Yeah, I never saw him in Arkansas either, but I'm glad he's here in California. <laughs> oh, Prez Graham Worldwide. Yes, sir. And Miss Marilyn Johnson was uh, so uh, gracious in um, making sure our communication stays uh, intact to have you back here. And I want you to know publicly and uh, around the world, as long as you're scheduled, I think it would be nice to have you uh, to come every end of the month and uh, give us a word between Genesis and Amen. Revelation. Huh? Amen. Can we arrange that, yes. Miss, yes. Miss, Miss Marilyn, yes. uh, if the First Lady don't mind? Uh, maybe don't mind. We get, you don't mind? No, I love his preaching. <laughs> I love his preaching too. Yeah. <laughs> well, naturally, you yeah. should love his preaching, huh? Well, I don't have to, but I do. <laughs> really? You don't have to? Well, if it wasn't good, he wouldn't. But the man is off the chain. Yeah, he is. He's yeah, he preaching is. the gospel. I get saved every Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You get saved I get every saved Sunday. Every Sunday, I'll be God. I'm, I'm, I'm working for you. I'm, I'm coming up higher. It's really? just that when you see yourself growing and you know you walking in Christ and progressing, you not you, you walking in the authority that you're supposed to walk in. Okay. I love that movie where I can't even think of the name of it, but one part of it, he says, "Say hello to my little friends." Mm -hmm. Because he was packing, and that's what the people of God have to do. We got to be packing in the Holy Ghost, walking in the Spirit, walking in the authority that God has given us. And going to the key of David has just been a blessing to my life. I'm walking in my authority. I'm t telling the devil, you, not to me, not to my peoples. Mm. You know, my prayer level has came up. I, I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it too. Yes. 
The Key of David family. Here's my son. Prayers too. to the throne. That's prayers too from his latest endeavor on the other side of through. We've got great gospel music as we get ready for Cooling Waters 2 on June the 14th. It's going to be the concert you dare not want to miss. Melvin Williams of the Williams Brothers, Lee Williams of the Spiritual QCs, uh, D.B. Milton and company. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be so exciting for us to have them. And, of course, I want all of you to know, get your tickets now. VIP stays the same at 50. General admission, since they are between uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day, which would be a great Father's Day present, is to take your dad, take your husband, your boyfriend, your lover. Uh, yeah, because the next Sunday is Father's Day. And I want to say to all of my seniors out there, I love you so much for your support, for cooling waters too. And I promise you that it will be a blessing. I am back this year as the MC. The good Lord Delay is coming. I'm going to do my best. The good Lord Delay is coming to have you out not later than 8.15 or 8.30. So you can go and do what you want to do. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Here's the number one artist in the world. We're going to come back with our guest, Key of David. Here's Lee Williams in the Spiritual QCs on Prayers Ground Worldwide. Lord, you didn't have to wait so this morning, but you did, Lord. I know you didn't have to wait me so this morning, but you did, Lord. I know you didn't have to wait early this morning, but you did, Lord. I'm glad about it. You didn't have to wake me soon this morning, but you did, Lord. That ain't all you done. You woke me up early this morning. Lord, you were right on time. Soon this morning, but you did, Lord. I wonder anybody else here telling you didn't have to wake me early this morning, but you did, Lord. I'm so glad, Lord, you didn't have to wake me soon this morning, but you did, Lord. But that ain't all you done for me. You woke me up early this morning. Lord, you were right on time. Had my head and strength and clothes. Just wanna tell you, you didn't have to wait me this morning. Lord, you didn't have to wait me this morning. I know you didn't have to wait me this morning. You didn't have to do it. But I'm so glad you did to wake me this morning. Let me take time out to wake me this morning. Just let me tell you thank you to wake me this morning. Just want to say thank you to wake me this morning. Because when I got out of my bed this morning, this morning, when I stepped out on my leg to wake me this morning, they didn't give away on me to wake me this morning. 
The number one artist, the number one artist in the world. Lee Williams and the Spiritual QC to the good Lord that lays coming and says the same. June the 14th, 2015, the Carson Community Center. Now Congresswoman Juanita Milner McDonald Center, as we remember our good friend and brother Troy Johnson. Yeah, super nice. Troy left us just a month ago and it is a devastating impact, a great vacancy in prayers, Graham, to have Troy Johnson not with us so close, but yet we missed the mark. Remembering Troy Johnson, the Honorable Assemblyman of the 64th District, Mike Gibson, will be with us as we proclaim 2nd Sunday June as Troy Johnson Day for all the members of Holy Light, for his daughter, Eleanor, and for the entire family, Joe Moses, our good friend. We never know when that last moment is. And of course, we miss Troy Johnson. We have the first family of Key of David here. And um, Miss Marilyn Johnson, what is the order of service since you are the pastor's aide of Key of David? And tell us what Key of David is located. Ah, uh, okay. For one sap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you always catch me off guard. 417 South Cameron Avenue. If you can take the 91 the freeway, Compton. she should have said, take the 91 freeway, get off on Alameda, and go north, make a left turn on Murr, then make the first street, make a right, and then you see the great big muriel of the husband and wife there, uh, Key of David. Yeah. You're right, but that ain't what you asked me. <laughs> but no, that's what you should be giving us, though. See, okay. see, that way they will find it easy. Right. Okay, way, he huh? gave you the direction. Thank uh, you so much. Am I right, much. Pastor? That's right. That's right. Thank you so that's much, right. Mr. Perez Black. So now your book, you got a book coming out. Yes, I do. I do. I do. Thank you so much for having us here on your, you know, show on today. And, you know, I just want to thank God, you know, Almighty, who gave me the burning desire, you know, in order to write my book. And the book and what Pastor Hook was talking about on earlier was Faith. And it's called Faith in These Times. And they will be in the book stores real soon and I thank God and I will be going to Canada me and my children to do my first book signing in August mm. and I thank God for that and my book will be in Barnes and Nobles it's going to be on Amazon.com it's going to be in Kindle bookstores Nook bookstores, it's going to be iTunes bookstores and I just thank God you know and it's also going to be available for ordering at over 35,000 booksellers worldwide and I just thank God for that you know so I can't wait till it come out <laughs> mm. I really can't wait. You know, God is doing new things. He's doing new things in my life. He's doing new things at the Key of David. You know, and I thank God for that and stuff, you know, because, you know, we we, we, we really need a blessing. We really need a blessing. And in, in today's times, there's more fear than it is faith. Mm -hmm. You know, and we need to step up our faith levels. And, and I thank God that when he gave me the book to write the book, when he told me to write the book, I started writing a book about myself, Mr. Perez. And when I started writing a book about myself, nothing could ever come together. And I said, surely I know myself better, you know, than anybody know me. But see, I didn't go to God to ask him. And when I asked him, he said, faith in these times. So people, faith is really wavering and stuff, you know. And there was a time that faith knocked in my door at one time. And when, when, when fear, I'm sorry, fear knocked at my door but now when fear comes and knock at my door I let faith answer and nobody is there mm. and and fear it used to keep me up all night long and I, I have I'm, I'm serious fear used to keep me up all night long now faith oh my god it makes a fine pillow at night to me you yes. changed. You yes. changed a lot. Yes. You you really changed. I'm yes. glad Pastor Holt is your pastor. <laughs> <laughs> On the station that gives you great gospel music. Um, now how do you feel about your wife speaking? Um as far as uh, her ministry? Well, I, I have full confidence in, in my wife and, and the members of our church. And we believe that, Mr. Perez, we have to have a ministry that speaks to the whole man. Okay. And so many times, you know, people feel 
they're a part of ministries, but they don't really feel like they, they have buy-in or say-so or what goes into the ministry. Mm. And I believe that the women's ministry, because in almost any church you go to, the women's ministry is probably the biggest ministry in almost any church. That's true. So it's so important that we provide ministry for them. And, and um, a couple of weeks ago on Mother's Day, I, I had an opportunity to speak, and the reason I brought this up is that uh, I was going through some statistics, and they said there's over 9 million single mothers mm. raising wow. children wow. between the ages of 18 and younger. Wow. That's an epidemic state. You know, that raised a flag to me. So if just on the surface, looking at those numbers, it would tell you that there's a great need yes. for ministry yes. to women. Yes. yes. We hope as we wrap this, this show up here, wow, time goes by fa fast. Maybe Marilyn was just late getting here. But how be ever, I'm going to ask uh, Miss First Lady if, if it's okay with the pastor when you get ready to uh, deliver a word to the nation that you would consider that you would come here on Prayer's Ground Worldwide and do the same thing as your husband did. Amen. Amen. Is that okay? Pastor, give us a thought for the, for the week and for the new month of June as we come in, as we get ready to leave. I, I want to say to everyone, as, we, as May uh, comes to an end and June's come to an end, we're coming to the midway point of the year, and this is a yes. time where a lot of people, they reach burnout. You know, when we're on our knees doing watch service, we were making all type of plans for the year. But I want to say to you today, whatever you do, ask the Lord for fresh oil yes, that you might close the year out strong. Amen. So the word for now until the end of the year is fresh oil, close the year out strong. Amen. Wow, what a powerful word. From Pastor Timothy Hoax and the First Lady, Miss Marilyn Johnson, her son-in-law, and for all of us here, Pauline and I at RMC, I want to say this to you, America, always remember this. Do some good in your neighborhood like you should. There's good in the worst, better in the best. Why make the worst of stone super prayers, black men's natural best. In the world of communication, there are many voices, but there's only one voice. Always keep looking up. God is always looking down because what you are is God's gift to you. What you do with yourself is your gift to God. I'm Prez Blackman. I'll see you on KTYM Saturday night, midnight, Sunday mornings from 10 to 11.30, Sunday afternoons, 1 to 4. Whatever you do, America, stay in touch. If you can't say something good, shut up. The death of Morris Parker, my brother, really hurts. So I miss you all as I thirst. That's how I'm going to end my verse. Yeah, I want to say rest in peace to Sherry Anderson, Reverend C.L. Franklin, Dr. Earl Fletcher Sr., Ernestine and Lois Jackson, Timmy and Ricky Quarles, Easy D, and Selena. Maryland's son-in-law is here. He's got a, a communication. Shoot, my brother. Uh, I'm, I'm an installer. I install low voltage electronics, uh, surveillance cameras, audios. I do home theater systems, uh, phone lines. And basically, God has blessed me with my own little company, my own little business. I got some guys that I partner with and subcontract out to do. I deal with, you know, general contractors from residential to commercial. And uh, it's a blessing because I actually just did my pastor's house recently. Put some cameras up there. We're able to link it to your phones, all the new technology. You can see stuff from your home, for your, your business. You can, you know, you can watch stuff from your home. It just makes... You know, coverage and, you know, uh, all, all the equipment and that stuff just accessible to you everywhere you go. No matter where you're at, you're at home, work, you can actually see everything from your cell phone nowadays. I'm going to have you to come back on Prayers Ground Worldwide because it was your mother-in-law's fault, okay? Until then, <laughs> America, got to get out of here until then. Prophet Michael takes us home. He tells this jam, hey, missing you right here on Prayers Ground. Billy Preston, Jeffy Pearson, Kwame Harris. Willie Barlow, Jerry Moore, yeah, and Lorena Waters, Big Fun, and Jam Master J. See, we be missing y'all. Come on. This for all my folks done and locked up for life. The spirit in y'all blessing us so we can see the light. And despite of you, Mr. President, them soldiers lost their stripes. They gave up their own life trying to save our life. And you know what happened to those 911 victims? This color by massacre man that really, really hit him. Natasha Harding death made us want to really get him. But the Lord said, vengeance is here, so it is what it is. The loss of black heroes, man, we still paying that cost. And we got to sing the old Negro spiritual so they won't fall. You know Jimi Hendrix was the original boss. Mahalia Jackson, James Brown, man, we feel the loss. Whether you're a teacher, doctor, or a fireman, the Lord gives and takes, and he really don't make mistakes. So it don't matter if you're black, white.